In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a title screen for the Apple II version of your game using Microsoft Paint. If you know how to use GIMP or Photoshop, you can do much, you can more do more, but this will certainly work. The trick is you want to find an image to use as the, um, you know, as, as really the, the main picture in your title screen, and it is fine to just go grab that off of Google. So let's assume we've got a game about the Titanic. I'm going to go find a picture of the Titanic, and I'm going to copy this image, and I'm going to paste it into Microsoft Paint. There we go. Now, this image is enormous, and the aspect ratio is wrong. So let's resize it. We need to resize it down to the, the aspect ratio and dimensions of the Apple II screen, which is 280 pixels wide by 192 pixels tall. So I'm going to click Resize, Uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio, select Pixels, because I want to convert this to pixels, and I'm going to do 280 by 192. And it will now rescale, it will scale my image down to that. And then, this is important, because notice down here it says this image is still 5,000 pixels long. I'm going to hit crop. So now I have now cro I've cropped my image down to that. Now let's zoom in. Control mouse wheel. We'll zoom in. Control mouse wheel. All right. Let me put some text on here. Uh, so to put text on an image, I'm going to use the text tool. I can select my color, which is be black in this case. And I can click on my image. And I'll just pick a font here. I don't know. Sure, elephant. Why not? That's eh, not a very good Titanic adventure, something like that. And let me make the box wider. If the text kind of wraps like that, see, it's it's because the font's too big. I can shrink the font down. Pick a smaller font. There we go. Or I can pick a different font if I want. That one doesn't look so good, I don't think. That's okay. All right. Um, now you want two other things on here. You want your name. So let's click again here and add another text box. Maybe make your name just a little bit smaller than the main title. There we go. And... Um, down here, we probably want a press any key, press any key, and that box is not wide enough, so I'm just going to make it wider like that. If you want the background to be opaque, you can just click on the little opaque button right there. You can switch between opaque and transparent. Um, okay, so now there's my screen. Now I need to save this as a BMP file, a bitmap file. So I'm going to say save as... I'm going to change it from PNG to bitmap. doesn't really matter. Uh, I could select monochrome. That'll turn it into black and white um, or 256 color. It doesn't matter because Lantern's going to black and whiteify it. Um, so I'm going to save this as, I guess I'll, I'll call it untitled. Oops. Okay. Yes, so now my image has been reduced to black and white. And... Um, and I will, I will save it. Or I, I, well, it is saved. And it's 280 pixels wide by 192 black and white. There we go. Okay, so now let's pop over to Lantern. And uh, let me, I'll make a new, I'll call it Titanic. Titanic game or something. All right, and save it. Uh, no file loaded. Okay, save as Titanic Sure, I just have to save my file. Uh, now, this is not actually a game here, Titanic, and I'll put Evan and Wright. Now, um, for my loading screen, all I have to do is just go here and say select file, and I'm going to go pick that file that I just saved, which was untitled, and I get a little preview of what that's going to look like. And I'll click OK, and let me save my project, and I'll export this for Apple II, and it will take a second. Oh, no walkthrough. Ugh. Okay, so I put all these little things in here to make sure your program has everything it needs. Uh, just put in a garbage walkthrough for now. Yes. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Export, Apple II. 
So now we're going to build this for the Apple II. This will take a bit and it'll, it'll crank away and you'll see what happens in a second. There we go. So when our game starts up on the Apple, uh, we get this. So maybe with for the text right there, maybe we could have made that um, the, the, op the, trans the opaque background would have looked a little bit better. But that's, there it is. Pretty, pretty good looking. Um, and then hit spacebar and it starts up your game. So that's, that's how to do that. So the trick is just start with an image, bring it into, um, into paint, scale it to be 192, or sorry, uh, 192 pixels tall by 280 pixels long and uh, add, add the title, your name, the press any key thing, save it as a BMP file and then you can select it into Lantern and it will add it to your disk image when you build. So there you go. That is how you make a title screen using MS Paint.